Hi ladybugs, it's Yolanda and I'm back to do another art journal or another page. I have already chosen the elements for the page and I've done the background and what I've done is I've used this one, picked raspberry and I've used glimmer mist from Tattered Angels Cranberry Zing which I kind of sprayed. So I put uh, this one first and then I used um, no, not this one. This one here. The Mermaid Lagoon. The Distress Oxide. And then, of course, dried it. And then I sprayed again on top with this. Because it's got a little bit of a glimmer. Then I felt it needed some yellow. Because there's quite a bit of yellow in the pieces I picked out. So I just used my Distress Ink, the mustard seed. And I used my finger. I mean, look at my hands. <laughs> and I just went over it in some places. Now I'm going to pick, use some of this green left over from here. But I'm going to mix it with white this time. I hope it works. We shall see. And I am going to put this on the background. Let's just wipe my stick. And I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to put that right there. So... Use my stencil. Because I feel that the white will just pick it up a little bit more. I hope that shows. <laughs> we shall see, hey? <laughs> Let's put a bit of white here. If I don't like it, I can just spray over it again. And by the way, when I finished these baking paper, I don't throw them away. I use them in my junk journals. I make pockets and envelopes and all sorts of things out of them. So don't throw away your baking powder, especially if you're into journals as well. Because they do look quite fabulous when they, you know, stitched up and and painted on it, whatever you want to do. You know, I can't even lift this to check the white. I just... Uh oh, did that slip? I hope not. Now it's getting mixed with all sorts of colors, <laughs> which I'm okay with. I want it kind of a mix. Because I've got spray on my stencil. And let's just do... Like so, cover a few of those holes. I wanted to put more white in here. Make sure it's quite thick, as you can see. I'm putting it very thick. I think I should wear gloves in future when I do this, because honestly, my hands... I don't know how Mary Me Mary May does it without <laughs> getting all f full of paint. <laughs> oh, wow. What can I say? This is how I do it. I think when I eventually have my craft room, I'm going to have a space just dedicated to this with like a splash box <laughs> all the way around. Okay. Okay, hold thumbs. Let's see what it's going to look like. Oh, I think it's fabulous. Can you see that? Can you see that? I am loving it. Oh my goodness. It came out so nice. So you can see what I did there. There was a little bit of spray on here from my pinks. And then I used the, I colored this paste with acrylic paint. Let me show you here, this one. With this acrylic paint. And then I put a white blob and I just kind of, well, you saw me do it. 
and it looks so nice I'm chuffed as anything I'm gonna quickly dry this oh yeah Right, I hope it's dry enough and it's puffed up a little, which I love. Let's see. It should be. <laughs> Chuffed with that. And then I want to show you. I'm going to have to take another. I lost my leg piece there. Can you see it when I took it out of this? Or was it here? No, here's my leg piece. So I broke it taking it out of the packet. So you know what? It's just going to be glued on. So this is more or less, oh, I think, okay, okay, I'm getting too excited now. Um, I still think, because there's quite a bit of white. And what I did is I already placed everything, and then I took a picture <laughs> with my phone. Um, do you like my owl, by the way? Um, with my phone. And I still think it's a little bit dark. I'm just checking my... Because I, I wanted light, I really, really do. Okay. I'm trying to think what I'm going to do here, ladies. I wonder what this would look like on, a, on the stamp. Shall I try it? Huh? Am I going to mess this up? I'm going to try it. You never know until you try something. If it doesn't work, then I will... I don't know what I'll do. Paint over it. Okay, so let's take a little bit of this paste. I've got too much stuff as usual on my desk. I'm just going to take a little bit. I hope I'm not making a mistake. Let's see. Gotta try these things, huh? Why not? Because instead of doing my thing in black, I want to do it. Obviously, you can see that. I want to do it in the white. So I'm using the modeling paste because when I dry it, let's see if this is going to work. Let's just plant it right here, shall we? No, that didn't work. That's a bust. I'm just taking a wet wipe. Mm, I'm disappointed. Now I'm worried I'm, that it's going to stick. So I think what, I should put this in water, but you know, then I have to get up, stop the camera, and I don't want to wreck my stamp if I haven't already wrecked it. <laughs> but that's also water based. Okay, that didn't work. Good to know. So I am going to have to stop because now I must go and get another. Oh, wait a minute. You know what I could do? Let me see. Hang on, guys. I'm going to pick if I can find it quickly without too much ado. I know what I'm going to do. And I just want to use the white. I'm going to do some more stenciling. Yeah, I think that is a better plan using this guy. So let's just do a little bit here in the white. I'm taking it direct from the tin. And let's go.
Okay, so we have that. So it's sort of. Um, I'm not going to do any black. No, I don't think I will. I don't think so. I think I'm going because you know what? These guys, I can always paint over them if it's too much white. So this is what I sort of had planned. <clears throat> oh, let me just give my hands another wipe down. I always keep my wet wipes next to me, you know. And then <laughs> and then I sort of had this guy planted here. This one, I am going to add a little bit of 3D to this little girl with using this. So let me just move that along so I, I can't really see me doing it, guys. I'm just adding these little... I like to do it with my tweezers. Yeah, oops. I always say oops, don't I? Oh well. We say all sorts of things, don't we? Just a little bit. And then, hang on, there's a little hole there I need to take you out. Yeah, look, there we go. And I think that'll be okay, because normally I would cut it a little bit big for this so what I normally do of course I can't find it no nope, I can't oh, what can I say I can, I'll say this I need a lot of oh, there it is look <laughs> I need a lot of patience for myself yeah never mind anybody else nope I just need lots of patience for myself That'll do. Seriously, that'll do. So that'll give her a bit of a 3D look. So she will go like on top of the... And I'm just grabbing my other pieces to the side here. And getting more paint all over myself. <clears throat> and then I thought... I'm really liking that and I'm liking that yellow shade I think that does need a little bit so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring my waxes and I think because they are drying out a little bit and this will also if I can open it oh boy bring some green into it some which will be I think very nice I always like to add green to whatever I'm doing. There we go, it's chipping off a little bit, which I don't mind. But I think I want to use and just maybe a little bit here. So using my waxes. Hmm, and this breaks off. And let's just put a little bit at the top here. I think that looks better. Let's put this back. Yeah, I'm liking that. And I think a little bit of pink. Yeah, and they will go well. They're drying out. I have to use these guys. I think I need to make a lot of <laughs> journal pages so I can use them up. But I have had them. They've, they've lasted quite well. Just a little bit here and there. You know, I, I don't want to overdo it. I, I don't want to do any more because sometimes I know myself. I overdo it. So... I think that's okay then. I must do an odd page using more of my... Now because I don't exactly remember how I had it placed and I thought it was pretty good. 
let me just yeah get this out the way and that out the way and I'm looking at my phone now in my gallery yes so it was there then I had the cakes the bigger one on the outside and then I had this one and then here I had this beautiful one here so that will go there and she's highlighted in front which I think she looks very nice then I had this guy here so I can pretty much do I want you here Oh, I actually do like that there. So I'm just going to play here for a bit. And I think I'm going to put some more on here. Also to give it a bit of a 3D. Now let's do that. Almost done with this. If you don't have these, just use a piece of uh, chipboard, you know, that you've got lying around to elevate your stuff. Yeah, I think that, look, that looks good. Uh, but I am actually missing something. So I'll probably cut that. Oh, yes. And this one, if I remember correctly. Oh, gosh, I've lost my piece again there, for goodness sake. Although I don't mind it. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, I'm missing my ice cream piece. What is my ice cream? My desk is in its total chaos. No, I didn't have you there. So, so I'm actually going to start by sticking this baby down. But, yeah, this is the glue. No, it's not the glue I was using. This one. So let's start from the bottom. So I've stuck everything down now, 3D that, and this little girl is 3D. Now I'm just going to add again the white pen. Come on, why aren't you working? Where's a piece of paper just to. Yeah, that'll do. Just to, yeah, on the chair. Can you see that? Come on. Yeah. Come on now. There we go. Uh, gee, my hand is shaking. I don't know why. I think it's got to do with the cervical myelopathy that I have. Yeah, that's looking really nice. It makes such a difference, this, this little adding this. And it's not about being precise either. Just got to do it. And do it. Does that look weird? I think so. I think it does. And then 
just to this one I'm just gonna go over the well I did not realize my hands oh well what can you say you know you don't notice it when you journal the shakiness I'm talking about Just adds that pop. Let's do it here. Now I'm just going over the, the white part, why not? And here as well. And here. Immediately, and I think I definitely need to do it here. Just a white pop there, and again, and on the bottom one. Oh, the cherries, you know, chocolate cake. <laughs> That's what I was thinking when I kind of did this. I'm just about done here. What do you think? What do you think so far? I don't think I'm inclined to do more. Hang on. Because her shoes are kind of disappearing there. And then I'm not going to do any dots or splashes. Um, you know, I don't want to do the same thing on every single one. But I am going to, lastly, do the edge with my graphite black. So this paste does break off. Please let me know if you've used this paste, if you're watching this. I would like to put some in there. Just a bit more. Lovely. <laughs> I really want to put some black down there. I guess I'm gonna use my. Let's try it. Just between the pages, you know? And it's not even showing though. And my dabber? What if I use the dabber? My black dabber. I hope I'm not going to make a mess. Let me just see it on here. I think. Oh, oh. Let's just 
get lots of it to the tip and then maybe now I can use my finger Here we go. I think that will be fine. Just a little bit. And I'm done. So there's another... Oh, did I leave this one out? I think I did. <laughs> but I'm happy with this. I'm really loving it, in fact. Oh, you know where I haven't done? Let's bring this out, shall we? Yeah. Makes a huge difference, I, I think. And this isn't about being perfect, you know? Have I left it out anywhere else? I don't know. But there we have it. <laughs> and I think, oh, I'm loving it. I'm enjoying that. So I made my focal point in the middle. So are these dry? Yeah, completely dry. So how about that? It's turning out to be quite colorful. And they, oh, I really like these dark pages. Oh, it's beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed my, my little I don't want to call this a tutorial, but, um, and I'm still liking, guys, just a few, you know, I suppose that we could just go on, isn't it? I'm just going to use these for my splashes. Well, they're not really splashes. I think I need to practice my splashes <laughs> and I still want just a few more on this page I think yeah it just uh, looks lovely like a midnight sky there we go Yeah, so there we go. Some more in my art journal. Like I say, I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys very soon. Now I've got to go and clean up this humongous mess that I've made. Ciao now. Bye-bye.